Hello everybody, Danny Stone here and thank you for joining me for another tutorial video, this time on the incredibly complicated subject of tech. In this video we will analyse how tech works, what I mean by that is what modifiers are behind it and how the game calculates the rate at which you produce tech. And we'll also help you guys to make sure you have a sufficient amount of tech to ensure that you're always ahead of your rivals tech-wise. Before we go into detail on how the technology system works, I will very briefly give you guys a simplistic vision of how the tech system works, which will give you guys a brief idea on how it does function before we dive into the deeper and more complicated stuff. Each month, depending on the number of citizens you have, you produce a certain number of research points. The more citizens you have, the higher the number of research points. The more research points you have, basically, pretty much the faster you'll gain tech levels in each of the corresponding categories. Martial advances, civic, religious, and oratory advances. As you can see, they're all here on the side of the screen. Martial advances, civic advances, oratory advances, relig religious advances. The speed at which you gain levels is also boosted by the researcher in each category. As you can see, in each category you have a man, and he's a researcher. He researches in each domain of technology. When the green bar next to each researcher fills up to the max, the max value being 100 as you can see, you will gain a tech level in that category, thus unlocking new inventions available for purchase. So what are these inventions you might ask? These inventions are bonuses uh, awarded to you which range from military bonuses like increased discipline to monthly aggressive expansion reduction. They are of a wide variety and can be purchased spending a lump sum of gold. The amount of gold depends on the amount of pops you have in your realm. The more pops you have, and the more it will cost to purchase a new invention, and vice versa. The inventions are available here to the right of the research technology panel into the available, in available invention slots. As you can see, you have three of each category. So I have three military inventions, three civic inventions, three oratory inventions, and three religious inventions. Each time you go up a tech level here at the shown by this bar, you will unlock three extra uh, inventions of each category. So if I was to go up one level in the martial stat, I would unlock three extra um, martial inventions and they would come over these three existing ones. So the three existing ones would disappear and over them would be placed the new ones. However, it's important to remember if you were to take one of the new inventions, then it would be replaced by one of the old technologies from the previous level. Now that simplistic description is out of the way, let's go into the more complicated stuff and see how the game calculates the speed at which your research speed is generated for each tech category. I do warn you guys, there is a bit of math involved here and it can get complicated, so uh, please hear me out. As you can see, by moving the mouse cursor over the research progress bar as I've done here, you can see that the monthly increase for the military tech is plus 0.64% per month, which means 0.64 points. This then equates to 7.68 points per year, so 0.64 times 12, the number of months in the year, which means that if the research progress was at zero, it would take approximately 13 years to increase the marshal to the next tech level. This increase is due to a base increase of 0.55, which is your monthly research rate, which is situated up here. And I will go into that in more detail a bit later on because it's quite complicated. As you can see, the base research value, which is in this case 0.55, is then increased by 60% due to the competence of the researcher that is in place for that specific tech section. For each point that the researcher has in the corresponding stat category, increases the base monthly increase rate by 10%. For example, my researcher here is called Voluminous Cloelii and has 6 martial stat, therefore increasing the research speed by 60%. So here, as you can see in the tooltip, 60% of the base research rate of 0.55 equates to 0.33. So the 60% of that 0.55, so 0.33, is added to the base research value, which is 0.55 in this case. So 0.55 plus 0.33 make 0.88. Then the value of the base research value, so 0.55 plus the researcher efficiency, which is 0.33, is then multiplied by a positive or negative modifier depending if you are ahead of time. In this case, it's minus 27.5% of 0.88, so basically 27.5% of 0.88, which makes 0.24. So 
Then to the 0.88, which is the base value of 0.55, plus the 60% of the 0.55 added to the base value by the researcher is deducted as the ahead of time penalty. So here, the 27.5% the of 0.88 equals 0.24. So we get 0.88 minus 0.24, which equals 0.638. The game then rounds that number out, and as you can see here, the current progress is 0.64. So, as you can see, the math do add up. I hope that was quite clear. It did get complicated, so uh, I hope you listen to that bit quite carefully. So how is this base monthly research value calculated, you might ask, since it is on this base here that the negative and positive modifiers are applied, which then determine the, the, the speed at which your research progresses. Well, to be honest, I couldn't really figure the math out. I do know, however, that this is based on your research efficiency. The higher the research efficiency, the higher your monthly research. The research efficiency is calculated by dividing the research points you generate yearly by the total number of pops in your realm. Then you multiply this value to 100, well by 100, sorry, to get the percentage. Here, in this case then, I produce, let's see, here we go, I produce 7,244 research points per year from the citizens. And uh, what you do is basically you divide that by the total pots, which is 5,458, and then multiply that by 100 to get a percentage, and you get the research efficiency of here is 132.72%. The game then creates a monthly research value from this research, from this research efficiency through a number of calculations. I can't exactly tell you what they are. The maximum research efficiency in the game is 300%. Research efficiency is vitally important. The higher the efficiency, the quicker you will burn through the tank levels. This is why smaller states with few pops and territories in the civilized world generate insanely high research efficiency ratios. This is because they have fewer pops, and most of them tend to be promoted to citizens, increasing their efficiency like crazy. For example, I will show you the little simple state of Kios here. As you can see, their tech level at 14, 14, 14, 14. They're even more ahead than me, and I'm quite good at tech. 13, 14, 14, and 14. This is because they have less land and therefore less pops. So, of course, their research efficiency ratio is really high, enabling them to burn through the techs like mad. Basically, it's not the amount of research points that condition the speed at which you burn through the tech levels. It's the research efficiency. Remember that. If you want to catch up on somebody who's ahead of you in tech, you need to get more citizens out of the general population. That means promote them. Promote them in all your major cities. Build libraries, build academies. Get them promoted and increase the number of citizens in the total population. Anyway, thank you so much for joining me guys for another tutorial video. I hope it made the tech aspect clearer for you guys. I know it's a really complicated subject and I couldn't really find many videos out there helping. So I thought I'd do one. I hope it helps. I tried to make it as less complicated as I possibly could. But um, if you did find it useful and it didn't help you, please don't hesitate to give it a thumbs up. And I really would appreciate it. Anyway, I will see you guys all later for another episode of Infoarto Academy. I don't know what I'll do it on yet. I'll probably think throughout the week and then do it and put it up and surprise you guys with it. Anyway, thanks for joining me. See you later for another episode of Infoarto Academy. Bye, guys.